Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. This is the weekly read for Virgo. Virgo, this is for the week of October 18th through the 24th. Oh, I'm doing something a bit different this time. I'm doing um, a five card spread of what's coming towards you in love. Um, instead of you, them, and the connection, just to kind of change things up a little. Your cards are like flying out, Virgo. Um... So these are general reads. If this does not resonate with you or doesn't feel like it's your read, then please check your moon or rising. If you're not, I almost just swore. If you're not familiar with what your moon and rising signs are, then please um, check the description box. There's a link to a website that will tell you. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Thanks for coming to watch my channel. I always do appreciate your support, guys. We're also going to get an Island Time Wellness Oracle card. Um, a shadow mess, shadow, sh good gravy, a shadow soul message from Angelic Revelation 144, and then a heart songs of the 90s from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. So Virgos on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, we have a heartbreak, sadness, ending something. Something's coming to an end. Actually, it doesn't really mean heartbreak and sadness, but it's kind of like a, usually a betrayal of some sort. Um, in the typical tarot cards, it's someone with ten swords in their back laying on the ground dead. But um, this is ten of swords. So it's definitely an, a completion of something, the end of something. Something's coming to an end for you, Virgo. However, to me, it doesn't look like a negative ending. It looks like potentially an end of being single. Um, because we have this nine of cups card here, right? Which is emotional fulfillment, but a, sing a singular kind of energy. But all these other cards here kind of feel like... Uh, something bigger is coming your way. So something's coming to an end for you, Virgo. The moon card is underneath that, which is kind of like something unknown is coming to light. And the tower card, which is something that's unexpected, it shakes things up. Not anything necessarily negative, just a surprise. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune card here for you, Virgo. This Wheel of Fortune card, I feel like, is a shift, right? A shift potentially from the singular energy. I think you have lots of love to offer. Excuse me. Um, and I think you're going to get to share them after this shift. So the, the wheel of fortune is a shift. It's good karma. Something's moving in a positive direction. Um, the reason I think it's kind of ending being single into um, a committed type relationship because we have the three of cups here, the four of wands here, and the page of cups. So the Page of Cups is a true love offering, right? So someone might want to ask you like, hey, let's go on a date or do you want to meet up for coffee or, you know, I can't stop thinking about you. They might be telling you some information that refers to a message in love. It could be also like something bigger, like an engagement, a proposal, a marriage, a wedding kind of message, <laughs> Um, so they might be talking to you about marriage or you might be talking about marriage. Um, and that makes a lot of sense with these two other cards that popped up. So the three of cups is often a card of celebration. It's my like wedding reception card or like, um, engagement party card. It's with someone that you feel really connected to. You have a solid friendship, but there's definitely love there. You have fun when you're together. It's a positive energy and usually a celebratory situation. And then to top it that all off, we have the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is my twin flame card. So perhaps you've met your twin flame. This is stability, solidarity, um, a twin flame connection, marriage. So I think we have like cards of like engagement party, marriage, love, right? Um, after a shift from being... Or the shift might make you feel emotionally fulfilled, but usually this is a singular energy. So I think it's kind of more like an ending here of feeling single and moving towards this stable, st stable stability, um, true love, twin flame, soulmate, connection with marriage and love. Virgo, that is nice. Okay, so we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card. It's a Love Oracle cards for Virgo. That one tried to come out. 
Ooh, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or a restraint. Maybe that's what you're ending to. Perhaps you're ending your addiction or addictive thoughts, addictive tendencies, addictive behavior. Um, on the bottom of the deck, it's a heart with a key, which makes more sense with the entire reading. And it says, um, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Yes, so I think... And then with the Grim Reaper, which is talking about endings. So I think, the, I mean, everything's correlating. Something's coming to an end to bring in this new beginning. Nice, Virgo. Or to bring in this stable connection, Twin Flame. I don't know what has to end, Virgo. What's coming to an end? All right, guys. We are going to get an Angelic Revelation 144 Shadow Soul message. Sometimes these are a little bit risque. Um, but our set, our sh uh, I can't speak today. Our shadow sides are kind of like the darker kind of thoughts and feelings and emotions that we have um, that we need to work on and things that we need to just bring to the light, you know, fix it within ourselves. But let's see what your message is, Virgo. You are my angel, but I really love your devilish attitude in the bedroom. So um, this might be how your person feels about you or how you feel about your person. Um, and then the other one says, I miss you, but I know that we're always together in spirit. So maybe that end, that missing part is going to be over. Maybe that's what's ending, right? They're not going to miss you anymore because you're going to be together. Or you're not going to miss them anymore because you're going to be together. All right, yours is kind of going quick too. Cancers went really quick too, Virgo. But we are going to finish off with the Heart Songs of the 90s from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. So either this song will resonate with you particularly yourself and you might be like that was one of my favorite songs in the 90s so you might think this message is for you that might help you uh, validate that this message is for you this could be a message that um, the song itself resonates between you and your person or it could be um, just a song you need to listen to the lyrics so we'll see what we have for Virgo excuse me oh I guess that's your card Virgo let's see what we got Baby, Baby by Amy Grant. Funny, I think Cancer just got this too. Um, and ever since the day you put my heart in motion, baby, I realize there's just no getting over you. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our reading. It looks like you have some great things to look forward to, Virgo. Something's coming to an end, which is going to open up um, amazing things. So amazing things in love. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you feel inclined to do so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. All your support, guys. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.